You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. But based on that, I said no thank you very much, wiped it off my cheek and left. Well, hello and welcome to Chewing the Cud. Lee, what have you got for us on the showbiz this week? Well, I have got some knitting news, celebrity knitting news. Oh. I've got some news about live concerts. And then I've got an, um, some more news that I can't remember, but it'll all come back to me. <laughs> on screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at The Could TV on social media, where you can follow us, thecud.tv for our website, and on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing The Could and hit subscribe. And as people who have shared or liked one of our posts on social media, their names scroll along the bottom of the screen, let's go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> How do you do your shopping? Well, one foot in front of the other. That's how you walk, babes. And the trolley. So you, put, you go physically food shopping? Yeah, I don't do the online food shopping thing. Why not? Can't be bothered. So you do your clothes shopping online? Yeah. But your food shopping not? Yeah, it's easy to go into the place to get the food. Is it? Yeah. It's not easy to stay in bed with the computer going? Oh no, it's a faff. So find in there and then one of those and then what do you want to replace it with? No, just go in. <laughs> what do you want to replace it with? No, they go, well, what, if we don't, what if we don't have it? I'm going to replace it with this. No, you can tick the box and say, don't do that. See, I don't want to. I don't want that effort. <laughs> I want, I'll just go in, thank <laughs> you. OK, so you want the more effort so it's less effort? Well, you know, I've got to move at some point. I've got to okay. physically move at some point. Yeah, OK. Um, well, this is, I've got a story about a, a lady who done her as the big shop, mm -hmm. right? And was disgusted when they gave her 13 year old daughter a fags. Her fags or a daughter's her fags. Her fags. So, um, this is a story about Madison Doctor. That's a good name. Right, from Matson. So, yeah, actual name Madison Doctor from Matson. Um, basically, placed a £150 food shop, bunged her fags on as well. And unfortunately, Madison had to go to hospital, so cancelled the online order. Who still delivered it, and the thirteen-year-old daughter said, "Oh, this is the food shopping," and took it in mm. and put it away, and contained the cigarettes. Okay. But because the daughter's under the age where she can legally smoke, they shouldn't have given her the cigarettes. But did the person not know there were cigarettes in the stuff? Well, the the driver would have would have known because it say you have to be over eighteen. Oh. So okay. shouldn't have given them to a thirteen-year-old daughter, right? She has complained to ASDA who, in Madison's own words, are more concerned about the refund of a missing pepperami... I know. ..than the fact they delivered the cigarettes. OK. So, yeah. Um, as to have said, it was a mistake, we're sorry. Well, that's all they can do, can they? Yeah, can't build a time machine. Who, who, and, and, to be fair, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Madison Doctor did. She, well, did she care? She cared. Did the kid care? Well, no. Or did she smoke up a storm? <laughs> No, she didn't smoke. She didn't smoke. Didn't smoke. She didn't smoke. Sold them to her friends. <laughs> 50p a tab. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, eh? 50p a Bought tab. a bottle of cheap cider. Went to the park. <laughs> bottle of Jack Happy Daniels. days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, nice well that's, that's why you should get off your backside and go and do your shopping properly. Or don't leave your 13-year-old daughter alone. Well, aren't you going to hospital, the mother? Is it an emergency? Mm. Okay. You don't sound like you believe her, Mike. I don't believe her, no. Because they, I cancelled the order because I had to go to hospital. You can't cancel it within two hours of delivery slot. Oh. Just saying. Okay. Telling porkies. <coughs> Moving on. Mm. I've, got, I've got somebody else that's a bit disgruntled. Oh. Okay. And this is a gentleman called uh, um, Ezekiel. I love that name. Ezekiel Harmon. Okay. Why do you think I picked up on Ezekiel Harmon? I haven't a clue, Mike. Okay. But it's too share. It's because he's living alone in a block of flats. Oh. By choice. Oh. Yeah, so he's going to, oh, sad to, <laughs> oh, like that, is it? Okay. Um. So he's living in Birmingham. Birmingham. In, what was that? Birmingham. Okay. In Saxbury House. He's lived there for 25 years. Okay. And the council said, we need to demolish it. Right, yeah. Make, make nice new homes, because it's a bit, eh, not that yeah, great. Yeah, get rid of it. Right, and he's gone, no, I want to stay here. <laughs> so everybody else has moved out. Everybody else has moved out. He's been on his own for the past 12 months, mm. doing two Christmases on his own in this block of flats. 
It's just being pedantic, isn't it? Well, what he said is the reason why he's rejected his six other homes that he's been offered is because they're all one bedroom flat. Okay. And although he lives alone, his children sometimes come and visit him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he needs more than one bedroom. Mm -hmm. Right. And the other locations that he often with the right number of bedrooms were in um, over 55 year old accommodation. Okay. So he's currently holding Sounds back like a, a dream to me. A 40. <laughs> no, it's not a care home. <laughs> He's not been offered a care home, he's been offered sheltered accommodation, as in with the buzz on the warden, so if you fall down in the shower, you're all right. Again, win-win. <laughs> they don't come and do you. No, I don't want them to come and do me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just all sounds like a winner to me. Okay. Um, so, yes, so he's been offered all these places. Um, so he's currently holding up a £43 million project, and he has been doing it for the past two years. Is he allowed to do that? Yes, because they have to find him suitable alternate accommodation. I'd be tempted. Wait till he goes out shopping. Yeah, just bulldoze it. <laughs> Knock it down <laughs> and just have a little box with all his stuff in. There. Bin bags. Bin bags. I'd only even put it back. Bin bags. <clears throat> I mean, some people are just arseholes, aren't they? <laughs> I, you know, I understand, you know, but it sounds like he's a little bit of a... I think he, he might be saying, I want to stay and just be awkward. Yeah, in this big block of... Because wouldn't they have, like... Everybody else has moved out. Everyone's gone, and they'll yeah. have cut off the electricity and water to no, everywhere cause, else. No, because you can't, because he's in there, so you have to keep everything going. Oh, so he's doing it on purpose, isn't he? I think he is living there on purpose. I don't think he's accidentally turned down the other six homes <laughs> and accidentally found himself living. I think he's purposefully living there. Yeah, but I think he's, he's doing it to, to annoy people. I, I think he might yeah. be doing it to spite. Hmm. It's like you know, like when they build a new motorway and stuff, and mm -hmm. they're like there's houses and the they have to. House. Yeah, they've got called. Yeah, yeah, and they start. But well, we'll just build it round you then. So like the, the M62, or the M60, mm. is it? Like the one, the one to Leeds. Yes. Yeah, and they've got a, a farm in the middle of it because yes. they refuse to sell. Yeah. Yeah. Build it round him. Exactly. They did. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fun. Ro it's a fun motor. It's I'm not. A fun motor. I'm not a cold-hearted person, but I. I'm afraid. <laughs> I would be bulldozing that as soon as he steps foot out the door. <laughs> Leaving a £20 note on the floor. <laughs> Come and just, get it. <laughs> and just take it to the sheltered accommodation place and just say, well, that's that's where you live now. That's, that's where you're not heartless. You'll take him somewhere to say that's where you live No, now. I'll just leave a note on the All rubble right. saying, this is where you live now. BTW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, off you pop. Okay. And if you're not heartless, you can interact with us on social media. It's at the Could TV and our website is thecud.tv. Now we're going to move on to our story of the week. Now we've had two people that are very angry. Mm -hmm. We've got a third person that I'm going to say is an inspiration. Oh. And this is uh, someone called Tony. Tony. Tony, who is gender fluid and a social worker from Georgia. Okay. Okay. And um, they've been called out because um, in Georgia, they've only started to recognise trans people in March of 2021. Wow. Right. And so what Tony's doing is going around Georgia and actually highlighting trans issues, right? Taking public transport and saying, look, trans people take public transport and being very proudful of being a member of the LGBTQ community, mm -hmm. um, doing HIV work, yeah? It's actually left their company um, supporting trans people to say, I'm gonna do this for free as a social worker. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, um, and it's basically been shouted out by lots of newspapers, lots of articles, the one we featured was in The Guardian, where they've done a massive story about how much work that they're doing to support the trans community in Georgia. Why has Georgia taken that long? It's very, very right wing. Oh, Ultra yeah. religious as a country. Yes. Yeah. A state, not a country. It's a state. Is it? Is a Georgia, state? Not, Georgia not a country? Is it in America? No. In Europe, Georgia. Oh, the country of Georgia. Georgia. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant like Georgia in the United States. No. No, we're, we're talking um, Russia adjacent. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Yeah, so if you think yeah. um, Yugoslavia. Right, America. well, that's very brave because yeah. you could put very, your life on very brave. in danger of start, um, speaking out. So Exactly. Uh, and so he's doing a, going out talking into schools uh, about trans issues mm. and LGBTQI issues as well. And it's just really just flying the flag that inclusively matters. They're very much saying, look, this is the issues. These are the issues that affect the trans community mm. and the LGBTQI community because they're very much not just talking about trans issues. Mm. They're talking about all issues. Mm. Yeah. Um, and HIV still got a big stigma. Right. The point one of their friends came out as um, HIV positive and Tony just went, well, let's just deal with that. 
Mm. What do you want to talk about? Yeah, I joked that the social worker element came out. Yeah, just to mm. support them, and make sure mm. they're okay. And mm. so it's, it's a oh well, good for them. Re really good story. And when I saw it, it wasn't lighthearted. It wasn't funny. No, but Mike. I thought we needed to say well done to Tony for all the work that you're doing to keep up. Yes. But and Georgia, that, sort your sort your f out your f nugget. Out your f nugget. I love it. But that's all from the buzz this week. Well, thank you very much for Mike. A, a rare moment of seriousness. Yes, rare. It won't happen mm, again, don't worry. Never again. No. Yes, next next week we're back to prolapses. But coming up next, we have Lee in the showbiz. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. And now let's get ready for Lee and the showbiz. <laughs> Shall we have a little bit of LGBTQIA showbiz news today? No. Oh, okay then. Thank you for watching. <laughs> news. Okay. Um, well, we're going to. Yeah. Go so on. we're going to start off with Jonathan Van Ness. Okay. From Queer Eye. Mm -hmm. um, so we we know him mainly from Queer Eye. We do indeed. Um, doing the hair. Do you believe? Do I believe in what? That's what he says. Okay. It's like whenever he does something, it's like a shock. Oh, like, I know he, he, go, he, talk, he go, talks like that. No, my God. Um, <laughs> I uh, have. That's another accent you should never allowed to do. <laughs> so, so currently mm -hmm. he's appearing in the sixth season of, of Queer Eye yes. over on Netflix. Have you seen any of the new season? I have seen one. I kind of only kind of watch it in short bursts because I'm uber gay. Really? Yeah. And they're they're uber uber gay, <laughs> and, and after sort of like two episodes, I go, do you know what? I need I need a break. You I need see, to go and just do something. You see, I have this thing that if 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 I combined all of them into one person, that would be my perfect man. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, he has he's they're going solo. They're going or, or I'm up for an orgy. Whatever yeah, whatever. whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, well. um, so he he he's not leaving Queer Eye, mm -hmm. but when they're kind of in between seasons and um, they go off and do their own things so he is branching out and he's got his own show on netflix uh -huh. so he has a podcast okay so, we, so first of all we'll have a picture of all six of them is the six of them they're called the fab five they're called reason. the fab fibly fab fibly i think i need a, a little nap a little, um, you know, a little, little lay nap. down so if we, <laughs> we've got a picture here of, of the fab five fab five yeah, I did watch one that, and it did make me cry when they were they went to um, an animal rescue place, I've and not, there was all I've these like animals yet, so. that had like no legs and stuff, and they were on wheels and things. Don't laugh, mate, because it's not funny. There was <laughs> <laughs> they were on wheels and things. It's just a really bad way of explaining it. They had no legs. <laughs> I get that. Had no legs. So they put wheels on them. What's the what's the what's <laughs> right? So I them into a wheel thing. So I. Like wheelchairs and stuff. No, they had wheels stuck on them. No, they didn't like. <laughs> oh, so they didn't they're like going, nail yeah, wheels to the hips. Pass me the hot wheels and a glue gun. <laughs> no, they were like strapped into them. And some, no, it's very sad. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hell. I am, yes. Um, so, with on a wheeled dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, been doing his podcast oh. called Getting Curious, and he was doing that pre. Queer Eye. Yeah. So it's now being turned into a television program cool. on Netflix. And he's going to be talking about all sorts of things. So each episode is, is kind of be like investigating a different thing. So this is this is the kind of um, poster for his, his podcast. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to be looking into sort of really eclectic kind of things that you wouldn't expect. Okay. So a deep question of each episode. It's produced by World of Wonder, which oh. is, you know, home of, of RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, so skyscrapers... He's going to be looking into, like, why, why don't we build skyscrapers? That's him talking about okay. skyscrapers. Um, insects, gender identity, snack, just, like, loads of different things. Um, and he will, like, talk about them and they'll explore them. So, yeah, it's, it's, it sounds quite interesting. I don't know whether I can watch a whole episode, like, like what's binge watch, because I, okay. I tend to get a little bit too, it just gets a little bit too much. Um, that's coming from me, um, cool. and yeah, so that yeah, so it's 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 coming out imminently. We've got a picture of him because he, he like he's quite flam. I do take a little bit of fashion inspiration from the Van Ness. Um, <laughs> 
in my blouses and things like that. Um, and he's got a really hot husband. We've got a picture of him and his husband. His husband is British uh -huh. and he's called Mark Peacock. But yeah, lovely. And he does, he does a lot of stuff on YouTube as well. Oh. well good, good luck to him so, and his new, his new ventures. So, so Jonathan Van Ness and Mark Peacock. Yes. Yeah. I don't think they've merged their names together. Well, would that be Messy Cock? Let's move on. Um, <laughs> so, just when you thought we'd seen the last of them, mm -hmm. the Kardashians are back. Oh, yay. <sighs> So we thought they finished after 18 million years of keeping up with the Kardashians. I still don't know what a Kardashian is. It's a, it's a person. Uh, it's a person. So this is what they th looked like originally in the very first series of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Okay. Um, it first, it, it, it aired in, they had like 20 seasons of this yeah. program of, I'm going to have to say banality of just a very rich family talking about their very rich problems yeah. and feeling very sorry for themselves. It's just like, oh. So it ended... First world problems. Yeah, oh, really, yeah. you know. Oh my God, my lip gloss is too glossy. Uh, no. So it ended in June 2021, last year. They made. They said they'd made the decision that it had run its course. We've seen everything that say, could possibly be seen. It ran its course seen. 12 years ago, yeah. but we've kept yeah. going anyway. Yeah. But no, they're back. They're, they're coming back on the Disney Channel. Ooh. And it's just going to be called The Kardashians. It's the exciting next chapter of The Kardashians as Jenners, because they're not all Kardashians. Mm -hmm. Some of the younger girls are Jenners because their parent is Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Okay. I don't think Caitlyn Jenner is featuring in this at all. Okay. Because she has her own stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, um, it started in September last year, the, the filming of it. Oh, good. Um, it's, um, yeah. There's not what a lot more I can say about it, really. We've got a picture of what they look like now. Okay. Um, coming up on screen, um, they all kind of look like fembots, um, in my opinion. Um, not one of them has had any surgery at all. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that photo was done all at the same time. No. I think that's a composite photo. Oh, they always do, they do that all the time because they fall out with each other constantly. So they take separate photographs and then merge them all together. Christmas is, is always one. They're like, Kanye West, I'm not coming. So they'll like, just put him on top of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you the Shrink him. Oh, right. Put him on top of the tree. Yeah. So yeah, if, if that is something that interests you, it is coming this year. They haven't announced when it's going to be shown. Okay. Um, and you'll obviously have to pay for it because it's on the Disney Channel. Mm -hmm. But can we wait? Yes. Yes. I mean, they've all had children, so there's a whole new generation of them to be featured. Yeah. Mm. Let's move on to something a little bit more palatable. Yes. Sex toys. Yay. Mm. So from, Demi from lumps of useless plastic <laughs> to lumps of useful plastic. Mm. So Demi Lovato yeah. has launched their own sex toy oh. to help take the stigma away from pleasure. Now, I never had any stigma with pleasure. No. I was perfectly fine with it. Here's a picture of Demi with their um, sex toy. It's um, bright yellow. <laughs> it's bright yellow. I'm not sure if that's the colour you want in a sex toy. Well, I suppose it shows up the muck. Okay, um, we've got a picture of that's what it has. So it's not just for men, it's not just for women, it's for everybody. Is it for you? You can stick it inside you and that's just anybody can use it. That's just used on the thigh. Well, I mean, they're not going to show a picture of somebody shoving it up their hole, are they? I need to know which way around it goes. That's, that's its container. Now, I like that. You see, they've put thought into that because you've got a little loop for your finger. Oh, you're, a big, you're a big owner of, of the toys, aren't you? Well, the, the thing is, if you have, you've got luby fingers, Mm. Right, and you're trying to pull something out of a, a container, but it's slippy. Oh, okay. So you'd be able to put your finger in and get some purchase. They've thought about this then, haven't they? They have, yeah. So, she, so they, they've teamed up with um, a, a company called Balesa, okay. and it's called the Demi Wand. It's a compact <laughs> yellow vibrator, vibrator as part of a campaign to take the stigma away from pleasure. Um, so so in, in a social media... Can you leave it in? What, forever? No, no, not forever, but for a while. Can you like, do your shopping with it in? I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 that information was not available to me. Because it's like a prostate massage, you can pop in and leave in all day. Um, I, I don't. I, mean, I know it's it's five point five inches. Is that not, is that enough for you? Well, it, well, it depends. Doesn't get any bigger. It's five point. It's orgasm inducing vibrations at eight speeds. Ah, it's, it's multi speed, ranging Actually, from it's... mellow to intense. It's made of smooth silicon that's non porous, body safe, and water resistant for shower use. Oh, easy cleaning. That's so good. you can shove Pop it up it when you're having a shower. Yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's housed in a discreet clamshell case. Bright yellow. 
Bright yellow clamshell. Um, and not only... Well, that's my porn name. <laughs> <laughs> Not only it charges the wand, the case charges the wand. Also, it's wireless charging. That's oh, good. But it's the last, the last thing you want is a port. You have to worry about cleaning. Oh, you put up, find a lead to, to charge up your dilly. Well, having to, to, to clean out your port access. Oh. Oh. Your cotton wool bud trying to get a little bits of lube out. It's not good. It costs about $79. Okay. How much is that in English money? It's about... 40 about, quid? No, about 60 pounds, 50 pounds, 60 pounds. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so that's not bad for for a, a, an intimate pleasure toy. No, and what Demi has said is that there is nothing more empowering than taking your pleasure into your own hands. I know. <laughs> we have spent far too long pretending that we are not sexual beings. It's time for us to put the stigma to rest. We are all deserving of pleasure. We are all deserving of orgasms. We are. Aren't we all? Yes. Will you be buying that, Mike? Um, no. No. I've got a collection. You, you could do your own range, couldn't you? Well, not a range exactly, but yeah, a small, small selection. Mike's masturbatory aids. MMAs? MMAs. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like a fighting thing, MMA? Mm. Mixed martial arts. Well, you could put on a pair of shorts when you throw it. No, no, you can't take you can't no. use shorts with it because no. it, it gets tangled up in the fabric. Okay. Well, on, on that note, that is the end of this week's showbiz news. Clamshell. Well, thanks for that. That's your new nickname now, Clamshell. But stick around because Clamshell's got the game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud, and this week we are playing our new game, Faster Hinds, and this is in no way, shape or form a knockoff of a BBC One thing. So, off you go, Lee. Pop off. I will do. Go on. Keep okay, popping. Okay. Let me just gather my belongings. Shift your ass. And my, my, my many, many things. Game of the Week. All Lee has to do is answer some quick-fire general knowledge questions. Are you ready, Lee? Yes, I am. Do you like the new studio? Oh, yeah. It's like a movie theatre, isn't it? Yeah, or, or people waiting to judge you. Mmm, it's my life. Yeah. OK. <clears throat> so, can we get some time on the clock, please? Who is the lead presenter of the BBC quiz show, Pointless? Um. Um, posh bloke. Um, What's his name? I need his name. Bloody blah blah. No, it's um, Alexander Armstrong. Oh yeah, it is. Which British singer-songwriter shaved her head for comic relief in 2013? That would be Jesse J. That's Jesse J. Correct. Well done. Who is the host of the Cube? I don't know. Philip Schofield. Oh, he's Which... gay, you know. <laughs> Which two boy bands joined forces to form a super group in 2013? In 2013? Yes. A super group? Two boy bands. Was it New Kids on the Block and the Backstreet Boys? No, it was McFly and Busted. Oh. New Kids on the Block. Um, which department store's 2013 Christmas advert featured Helen and Bonham Carter, David Gandhi, and Rosie Hunting Wetley? Superstop. Marks, if you buy. Marks and Spencers. <laughs> what name did Kim Kardashian and Kanye West give their first daughter? Cul de sac. <laughs> North. <laughs> <laughs> who won the best British who won the Who won the Great British Bake Off in 2013? I don't watch it. A person. Somebody made some bread. Yay, well done you. Um that one. This Quinn. <laughs> what name is Robert Galbraith better known? I don't know. Robert who? Robert Galbraith. D d d yeah. Think transphobic. <sighs> I don't know. It's JK Rowling. Oh. Locked her completely. <laughs> <laughs> Which Coronation Street actor. Oh, I farted, so I'll finish. Which Coronation Street actor married Strictly Come Dancing star Flavia Cascade in 2013? Who cares? Um, Do you not know? I'm Tom DeBeck. Jimmy Mystery. Who? Jimmy Mystery. Oh. Wow, that was vapid. Yeah. So that was that was your celebrity round. Oh, my God, and I'm supposed to be celebrity. Oh. I believe the supposed to be is, is right. Um, should we do something you'll be really good at, then? Mm. Let's do sport. Oh, ace. 
So for your first sports question, which Pink Floyd song did pop band Scissor Sisters cover on their 2004 self-titled album? That, that's not a sports question. Do you want to just answer it? It's, it was comfortably numb. It was comfortably numb, well done. Who followed their first number one with a single called Bed Sitter in 1981? Um, 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 oh my God, Soft Cell. Yes, well done. <laughs> Who had a hit album in the 1990s with Walthamstow? A17. <laughs> Why? Um, <laughs> what W did Oscar Wilde consider to be the curse of the drinking glasses? Um, wine. Work. Oh. Which song released in 1970 continually repeats the words Hare Krishna? Hare Krishna. My sweet lord. Who is singer Kim Wilde's father? Marty Wilde. Marty Wilde, well done. The famous theatre company known by the initials RSC is called the Royal Shakespeare what? Company. Indeed it is. What does RADA stand for? Royal Academy Dickhead Actors. <laughs> Ooh. I very, don't... very close. Of oh. dramatic art. Oh. Yes, because non-dramatic art is, yeah. It's art. Oh, no. Um the rock band Jethro Tull was named after the inventor of what agricultural tool? I don't know. The 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 tractor. The seed drill. <sighs> Come on. The title of 1902 Joseph Conrad story, Heart of What? Glass. Darkness. What is the first name of the R&B sing... <coughs> well, I farted and I will finish. I think I have that time. What is the name of the R&B singer R. Kelly? We're not allowed to talk about him. He's, he's been cancelled. But I believe it's Robert. It is Robert. Robert the twat face Kelly. So yes, well done, you got some more right there. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Wasn't yeah. bad for sport, was it? A bit aggressive though, wasn't it? That? Yeah, yeah. Should we do music now? Which means it'll be sport then, won't it? Of course it will, yeah. So. What is the capital of Iraq? I don't know. Is there a capital of Iraq? Af... Uh, uh, um... Blabanistan. <laughs> You're about to say Afghanistan. I don't know. It's Baghdad. Oh. The Netherlands is associated with which flower? The tulip. And what food substance? And what food? Uh, cheese. Yes. What pea is both freshwater fish and a resting place for a bird? Poussin. <laughs> a perch. Poussin. <laughs> South Australia. Barossa Valley is famous for which industry? Um, diamond mining. Wine. Is that right? No, wine. Wine, oh, sorry. Wine. Wine. Yeah. What bee can be... <laughs> what bee can be a woody plant, smaller in size than a tree, for a general term for a wild, uncultivated country? Backward. Bush. Oh, <laughs> Which country's cars display the international registration letters LV? Latvia. Latvia is correct. Oh my god! <laughs> that was uh, that was that was literally grasping in air. <laughs> Which living bird lays the largest eggs? Oh, would that be a ostrich? No, it's an ostrich. 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 What is the name of the famous deep, deep walled canyon in northwestern Arizona? It is the Grand Canyon. It is. In nature, soldier, red, and fire are all types of what? In what? In nature, soldier, red, and fire are all types of what? Ant. Ant, indeed. What is the name of Namibia's most... <coughs> I farted and I've actually followed through that time. That's uh. not good. The name of what... What is the name of Namibia's most renowned game reserve? I don't even know when Nibia beer is. I thought it was a cream you put on your dry skin. Um, well, that's Nivea. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Serengeti. <laughs> that's there. the Estua National Park. Oh, I wouldn't have never known that. Yeah. We've got one last game now. 
<laughs> Science and invention. Oh no. Or history and religion. What would you prefer? I'm. I'm gonna go for religion because I am Catholic. The thing that's concerning me here is that science and invention and religion are being kept together and we should know that they should be kept apart. <gasps> so, what is the last word in the New Testament? The end. Amen. <laughs> for what did the sub... Sorry, for what did suffragettes fight? For women's rights. Oh, votes for women. What type of transport was the Titanic? A big boat? What's that got to do with religion? It's history and religion. Oh, okay. It was a big ship. It was. Who accompanied Howard Carter in the discovery of the tomb of Tutankhamun? Um, Beyonce Knowles. El Carnarvon. <laughs> Whose gang shot dead police officers Wheeler and Murphy near Grapevine, Texas on the 1st of April 1934? Just after Ooh. you were born. Was it, um, um, was it, oh, the man and the woman, what were they called? Not Cagney and Lacey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Agni Lacey is your first answer and it's not correct, unfortunately. Oh! Um, it was Bonnie and Clyde. I thought I was trying to say. Who walked across Niagara Falls on a tightrope in 1859? Houdini. Uh, Charles Bondlin. Mm -hmm. In ancient times, the city of Alexandra was known for its library and which of the seven wonders of the ancient world? A gaping chasm. No, it's... Oh, it's Lee's Arsenal. Same thing. Um, no, it's the Lighthouse of Alexandra. Oh, great. So far, Who's, nothing that's really particularly religious here. Whose coronation was the first to be televised in Britain? Queen Elizabeth the second. The second was important because it was not the first. <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, I've actually shot myself now. What name is given to the government run by priests? The clergy. No, the curiosity. I'll get stuffed. And can we get the scores for Lee? <laughs> no, we can't. Oh, okay, that's nice. Oh, well, that was pointless then. I wanted to know how many I got. You got some. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks for, uh, thanks for wasting my time. I'm Hello? sorry that we wasted your twine. Twine. But coming up <laughs> after this, we've got <laughs> Quafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we pop over to what we're going to say is infotainment, or bullshit, it's Lee and Crafty Queens. Welcome to another episode of Crafty Queens. Today, we're going to do something very exciting with water, glue, glitter, glycerin, not nitro, just the ordinary kind of glycerin. Are you excited, Mike? Very excited. Oh, well. So we're going to make a glitter jar. Ooh, that's exciting, isn't it? A glitter jar. A glitter jar. So a in jar of glitter. A jar of glitter, but with a little person inside it. You know, like a snow globe, but not really for Christmas. Just any time of the year. So, so you have a little character um, on on in front of you, as do I. I do. Now, I believe your little character is winner of a ballroom dancing competition. He's got a little. Do you want to hold it up for people to see? Oh, and he's he, he should have a little trophy and a little little bottle of water because it's important to be hydrated when when you're ballroom dancing. Oh, cute, cute. Oh, you've got a bottle of pop. Oh, pop, cute. Yeah. Mine, my little person, oh, is a superstar DJ. He's got his little decks, so he can go wicka, 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 wicka. And he's got some, um, he's got some fluid. Oh, cute. So what we're going to do is we're going to encase those in water full of glitter to make us happy. So you're into this too much. <laughs> have you got a lid there, Mike? I have got a lid. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to glue the little figure into the centre of the the lid of the jar. So we've got these kind of like mason jars that you can get from sort of like pound shops and stuff. They're yeah. going, that's going to be its house. Okay. So, with a hot glue gun, mm -hmm. on the bottom of your little man, a yep. couple of blobs of hot glue. Uh-huh. 
Ooh, that is smoking. Is the hot glue hot, Lee? And just pop it onto it and hold it for a few seconds just to adhere it to the to the lid. I've also got a pussy. You what? I've got a pussy. Oh, have you got a little pussy cat? Yeah, you've given me a pussy. Oh, you can put the little pussy cat in if you want to put the little pussy cat in. So I've, I've glued my little dick. Wicker, wicker, wicker. Um, and then I'm going to glue his. Pop the pussy down. There. It's a little. Oh, oh, that is properly cute. Tell me when you tell me when you've glued it all together. Yours has got a little man bun as well. It has, yeah. Oh, I didn't like where that was positioned. Did you ever do one of these when you was a child? No. No. Because as a child we had toys. <laughs> right. Um, I'm not giving them the trophy because no one. You don't want the trophy in there. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay. So we're gonna just push that to, to one side for a few minutes um, to to dry. Okay. So the next thing is you're gonna get your glass jar. Uh huh. Okay. Turn it the right way around. All right. Okay. You should also have a little jar, a little bottle full of glycerin. Uh huh. Okay. And that's gonna help the um, glitter move around inside. So okay. what I would like you to do is to pour half of the bottle of glycerin into your jar. I don't know what they use glycerin for in baking. Oh, perfect for softer icing. Yes, it's used for icing things. And... Okay. All right. And also, um, they use this sort of stuff in vape juices. In what? Vape juices. Oh, okay. for those for those vapists out there. Oh, all right, okay. Um, so we've got some water. Now this water is distilled water, uh -huh. which apparently you can use ordinary tap water. It just stays clearer for a little bit longer. So you go, what you're going to do is take your water uh -huh. and pour it to just where the sort of like the not the up to the top of the lid, but where you know where the square is. Okay. To. So, I'll pour mine in. Ooh, great noise. I love that noise. Makes me yeah. pee. Okay. So that, that level. Yep. Okay. Yep. So now you can you can put a couple of capfuls of glitter in. Not too much. Not too little, because you don't want it to be. You can't see it. Okay. So I've I've got sort of like a purpley glitter and a lavendery glitter. So I'm just going to put a capful. Ooh, la, 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 la. love glitter me. So capful, yeah. Yeah, okay. capful of each. Okay, have you put two different colours in? Yep. Okay. Do you know what? I might put three in just to be daring. Ooh. If you're putting three in, I might put some more in then. Put some more in, man. Put some more in. Okay. Now. Are you all glittered up? I am. Okay. Right. Next to what you're going to do is you should have... I'm just going to put my jar to one side for a second. Um, you should have some sparkly tape. I do have some sparkly tape, yes. Have you? Right. You're going to put that round the shiny bit of your lid. I don't have an end to this, the shiny tape, though. It's brand new. These are brand new. Do, do, do. Ooh. So my... um, What happened? My little man decided that it was no longer worth living. Um, oh, did it fall off? It, it, it jumped. I'm not going to even say it fell. It oh, dear. It's definite. He needs to be, he needs to be firmly glued. Oh, look at that. I'll finish adhering this tape. I'm going to call mine David Goetta. Goetta? Yeah. Mainly because that's the only DJ I know. <laughs> You're going to name it after any living DJs? Um, Was it David Goetta that died? Or was that Avicii that died? Avicii? That's a, that was, he was a... He's a DJ. He's a DJ. Was a DJ. <laughs> right. I, I've reattached 
personally. You've reattached it. Yeah. Okay. I think you need to kind of perhaps press it down a little bit. I've pressed now, obviously, it down. if we were doing this in real time, we'd leave it for a little bit to, so the, the glue completely um, dries. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue gun and you're going to put glue all around the rim of your um, jar, your glass jar. So pump it out. Oh, I need another glue stick. And once you've glued up the, uh -huh. you're gonna take your lid and gently insert your little man in. Oh. <laughs> I'm a... Oh. I've got mine on. <laughs> You've got yours on. Right. Well, tighten it up. Yep. And then you should be able to turn it upside down and shake it gently. <gasps> oh, look. You can see the little... Oh, that is so cute. I, I have... I waited too long. And now my jar is all glued. And I don't know if I can get it on. Let me try. Use Let me a try. hammer. Oh, I think I might have. I think I might have. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna spread my towel out just in case. <laughs> yeah, I've got a leak. Have you got a leak? Okay, well, be careful. So let's sit, let's turn mine around. Oh no, mine's leaking quite a lot. Oh no, 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 no. Oh yeah, it's leaking quite a lot. Um, <laughs> bit, yeah, bit of glue on that, it'll be fine. Um, but it's quite cute. Yeah, it's leaking quite a lot, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it back up. But you get the idea at home, don't you people? Lots of glue, do it very quickly. Um, get it on there before it dries. Otherwise, um, it's ruined. Well, that, that's it for another week. Remember, if you can't get any peen or even virgin, be a crafty queen. So, what do we think about that one? Yeah. Uh, mine, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be a. Mine's mine's Australian because I can't turn it back round because okay. it, it'll just pour water. See, look. <laughs> It's cute though. Cute idea. If it yeah. worked. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Gallons of glittery water all over the set. <sighs> Don't be throwing glitter. So serious. Anyway, that's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on social media at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, you Mike. Cute and of course, you can find us on YouTube and podcast. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs> There's no glitter. Sorry, do you no! want to? No! <laughs>